Now, I've been thinking about this all week. And in a word, well, I kind of don't want to say the word. I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about alienating someone who doesn't know me. So I'm, I'm going to, I'm just going to wait on the word. We're going to have a moment of silence. Okay, there was a moment of silence. If I go too long, it's boring. You can pause if you need more silence. I'm, I'm sorry for this word, but let me explain it. Okay, let me explain it. This is not hateful or venomous. The word is incompetence. And I suppose another word could be competence. I mean, you know, competent, incompetent, they imply each other. I've, there really is no other way to, to look at it. Um, it's, it's all about competence and incompetence. That's what it's all about. There are people I, I run into all over the place. I see them on TV. I see them in my life. I see them everywhere I go. They just, to save their own lives, they cannot know how to put, to, 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 to connect the dots. You know, I, I, well, okay, give me an example. I, I was mentored by a very wealthy man. I think I talked about it last week, Amway, my, my Amway, my Amway Platinum, my Amway Upline uh, Direct, whatever, was my Upline Diamond. And he personally mentored me for a long time. And for, the, for two years, I suppose. And I, I grew up with the guy. And he would talk about knowing who to trust. Like, for example, his financial planner was financially independent. He said, I would only choose a financial planner who had been so good with his own money that he didn't need customers. If, if a financial planner only makes money by planning other people's money, how do you know that he's planning it the right way? How you know that a financial planner is a good financial planner if, well, how do you know that if, if, if a financial planner knows money? How do you know, for example? Well, he makes money himself. If, I, I mean, you don't, someone's not a good financial planner if they simply took the test and they know the government regulations. Goodness, government regulations don't fix anything. I mean, I did, you're all, you know, the Democrats and Republicans are always complaining about the other guy in office. You know, I did, which, which that, that always eludes me. All these people are upset with Trump, but yet they want, you know, the, the people opposing Trump want government to have more control and they don't, it's like they don't get it. It's like, if, if you don't like what Trump's doing, then why would you want government to have power in the first place? So it's like, if you don't like Trump, then you're in favor of taking power away from government so that people like Trump don't have that power. If, 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 if you think Trump's abusing, if you're worried about Trump abusing power, then you're a conservative. You believe government should have less power, which makes you a Republican. Now, I, people don't like that. But th there's truth in that. That's, that's like true. And a lot of people don't think about that stuff because people don't connect the dots. And that's kind of what I'm talking about. And I don't mean, I don't, I suppose, you know, I use the I word incompetent. I suppose it applies to myself. I mean, we're all learning. I'm, I'm learning how to be less incompetent all the time. I, 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 I practice skills. I, I learn how to do this and do that. I, I learn this language, computer language, spoken human language. I, I, I'm learning Hebrew right now. There, there's, I'm trying my level best to be less incompetent tomorrow than I am today. And, you know, I'm, I'm every day I ask myself, maybe I got it from Tony Robbins back around 2002. You know, there's, there's a point at which I go to bed at night and that's when I become less incompetent. I've learned something. I've advanced something. I've pushed a side business. That's my escape route out of, you know, whatever rat race I'm in. I've, I'm always advancing something. I'm always trying to learn more and know more. And right now, America is full of people who have lots of opinions about everything, but they don't try to become better at what they do every single day. They're not aggressively, actively, every day trying to become better at something. But they've got all these opinions. I, you know, we complain about a moronic boss. We complain about, about these guys and those guys having bad opinions. Well, what about the man in the mirror? 
What about our own incompetence? What about our own skill level? I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to change the world and I'm starting with the man in the mirror. Michael Jackson did get it right. Like, love, whatever you think about the man, I have never met one scoundrel from whom I did not learn great truth. He gave advice and he was right about that advice. I don't mean soap opera. I don't mean he was an example of how not to do things. I mean, he said this is how to do it and he's right. That's how to do it. Every scoundrel that I've met has given me good advice that way. At, at least on one thing. I'll learn from anybody. But there are people in America that won't learn from Trump because they're angry. And you have to think, what's that do to them? It weakens them. If you can go to someone who's angry about anything and help them focus on what they're good at, you could help that person. Because all, they're... About half of America isn't angry. That's what the, the, the presidential popularity polls are saying this week. We've got a lot of people in America that are just angry. Whoopi Goldberg can't even say Trump's name. And I, all right, but, you know, there's, there's upset inside of her. Maybe it's justified. But I, no, I watch the color purple. I, 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 get, I get a lot of things. But anger hurts us, whether it's justified or not. It cripples us. So I'm going to go back to the, the, the financial planner idea. Financial planning is when you, you take money and you put it in stocks, bonds, securities, accounts, and you become financially independent. And if a financial planner knows how to do that, well, then, then he's going to have his own money. He's, he's going to be financially independent. Financial planner is supposed to help you become financially independent. He should be also. That's the test of whether he knows what he's doing. The test of a financial planner being competent is, is not whether he took the test or he has his mentors with him. I mean, okay, some guy starting out in financial planning, he better have his mentor with him. That's how that's supposed to work. But his mentor had better also be financially independent. We look at all kinds of things in the world and we don't know how to know who knows what opinions about what. I predicted that Trump would get elected with an election map on Instagram right after the Hawkeye Cockeye, February 2016. I called the election. I wrote an article about it. I had some little catches. I said qualifications. I, I wrote specifically about Michigan and Pennsylvania, specifically. I saw it coming. Now, it, all these people said that there was no way Trump was getting ele going to get elected and then he got elected and they still have opinions about him. At what point do we realize who knows what about what? At what point? How, how to make money is one way. But there are other decisions. There are other decisions. There are certain ways that things get done and there are certain ways that they'll fail. And I hope in my life that I'm able to look at the things around me and understand what's going to succeed and what's going to fail, what's going to make things work and what's going to make them fall apart. That's what, that's what I want to get. That's what I want to understand. And that, that they come from running a family, running a business. Well, being in a family, you don't run a family, you be in a family, but you run a business, you're running government, how money works, knowing what's going to happen with politics. I mean, I read politics every day. That's how I knew what was going to happen in the election. These people with opinions don't. I write about it at the Times. I'm out of time, and I'm just going to summarize it by getting to the point. The poor don't know how the rich get money. It's a mystery to them. To the poor, wealth is a far distant country on a far distant continent with a foreign language that they have only heard about in movies and bedtime stories. They fear it, ponder it, covet it, yearn for it, run from it, loathe it, love it, but they never know its secret. Wealthy people, the good and the bad, make their money through hard, smart work. Scaling the walls and crossing the oceans to adopt that truth is as priceless as it is hopeless, yet some do. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele jessiesteel.com.